Hey, what's up guys? It's Jordan from Apple Critics. In this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about the iPhone 11 that just leaked. Uh, so this is basically the final design of the iPhone 11. In this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about all the new features and what to look forward to in the iPhone 11. I'm just giving you a general overview of the iPhone 11's new features. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Now, the noticeable difference of the iPhone 11 will have to be the three cameras on the back. Uh, so not one not two, but three cameras will be on the back of the iPhone 11. It will be a very new design and something different. Apple has never put three cameras before on the back of a uh, iPhone device, so now this will be a new design. A lot of people either like it or they hate it, so it's very polarizing right now, but it's a nice venture off uh, for a new design. So if we compare it to the current iPhone XS Max, you're gonna see that we only have uh, two cameras at the back and they're just vertical. But now if we take a look at the new design of the iPhone 11, you can see that there's three cameras in a triangular arrangement. So it's something new. And the third camera is actually a super wide angle lens. Uh, so that's also a first for the iPhone. The iPhone 11 will still have Face ID and it will basically have a similar design other than those three cameras. Now it will be a little bit lighter so that's good but it's relatively the same dimensions. So we'll have a edge to edge display, it'll have the rounded corners and the stainless steel design just like it currently does. But on the back of the iPhone 11, it'll actually be one singular piece of glass. So that's going to be really, really nice. Uh, so that's what I'm going to like about the new design. It'll just be one single piece of glass. And if you actually take a look at the camera, how it is now, you can see that it does have a little bit of a protrusion. But now with that one single piece of glass, the camera will be more level. So that's definitely really nice. And say, for example, this is a black iPhone. You can see how the lens of the camera is actually uh, black as well. But for the uh, silver iPhone, it'll be like a silverish color and for the gold, it also will be a gold color. So that's a new feature that Apple's trying out. So that's uh, definitely nice. So they'll just match the camera lens with the back of the iPhone. But it's just really nice. They'll actually be one uniform uh, piece of glass on the back. Now the mute button will be vertical just like the original iPad. So it'll be up and down rather than side to side. Uh, so like left and right, it'll be up and down now. So that's really nice. Now if we take a look at the microphone right on the cameras of the iPhone XS Max, you'll see it'll be right there. But on the new iPhone 11, it'll be on the right. So it's slightly pushed over to the right compared to the January leaks of the iPhone 11. Now sadly, there won't be a USB-C like we wanted, uh, so that's definitely a sad feature. Apple is still sticking to that lightning port. So that's the roundup for the new iPhone 11. It's just basically going to be focused on the design of it, so just the three cameras will be the biggest feature. A single piece of glass, uh, no USB-C, uh, it's just going to feel a lot better. It's going to have a body colored lens, so if it's a gold iPhone, the lens will be gold. A uh, silver iPhone, the lens will be silver, so uh, it will just be a very sleek design asymmetric design and that's going to be the main feature of the iPhone 11. The overall body will be very similar to the iPhone XS Max. Also have Face ID so those are just the major features of the iPhone 11. So thank you for watching this video on the leaked design of the iPhone 11. Please be sure to subscribe, please like this video, please be sure to check out all of the videos on my channel and also follow me on Instagram at instagram.com slash applecritics or at applecritics if you're on your mobile device. And be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll definitely be sure to respond. And once again, thanks for watching.